Hi friends, today I'm going to read you a story called Apples, Apples, Apples. It's about a family that goes apple picking. Have you ever gone apple picking? If you have, it's lots of fun. I used to do that too. It was lots of fun to go apple picking. So it's written by Nancy Elizabeth Wallace. One blue sky day in the early autumn, Dad asked, who wants to go apple picking? Me, yelled Mina. Me, said Pip. Me too, said Mom. Let's go. They walked down the road to the Long Hill Orchard. Glad to see you, said Mr. Miller. Here are some bags to pack your apples in. What kind do you want to pick? I want to pick apples for apple pie, said Dad. I need apples to do crafts, said Mom. Yum, yelled Pip. I'm going to pick apples for my snack at school. Minna whispered, I want to pick apples for a surprise. Come look at this chart, said Mr. Miller. It shows the kind of apples we grow in our orchard. So they have... Red Delicious, Golden Delicious, Macintosh, Granny Smith, and Rome Beauty. And there's their chart. I can't wait to see the apples, shouted Minna. Climb aboard, said Mr. Miller. They all climbed onto the farm wagon. Mr. Miller started up the tractor. Hold on, he said. It's a bumpy, bumpy, bumpy ride. The sky was blue. The air smelled crisp and clean. It was a great day for picking apples. When they got to the orchard, there were apples everywhere. Pip tugged on an apple. <coughs> the limbs shook and lots of apples fell to the ground. Uh-oh. They try lifting and twisting the apple, said Minna. Then pull on it gently. I read that in my apple book. Look, Minna, said Pip. Lift, twist, pluck. I can do it. Lift, twist, pluck. They all picked and picked and picked. Mr. Miller used a special tool for picking the apples that were hard to reach. He let Minna and Pip have a turn, too. Then Mr. Miller picked an apple from the ground. He cut it in half. It looks like a star inside, said Pip. Minna said, I think it looks like a flower. It looks like, a, like both a star and a flower, said Mr. Miller. In fact, apples are a member of a flower family, the rose family. They counted the seeds. There may be as many as 10 seeds inside an apple, said Mr. Miller. How many seeds do you see? Can you see them? Five, said Minna. Mr. Miller cut another apple in half. A different way. Look at all the parts, he said. Look at all the parts an apple has, he said. You can see the stem, which is here, the skin, which is the red part, the core, which is where it holds the seeds, and the flesh is the part we eat. Did you know that seeds are also called pips, Mr. Miller? Asked Mr. Miller. Minna pointed at Pip and they both giggled. Mr. Miller, do you grow trees from seeds? Minna asked. Well, apple trees can grow from seeds. He took a picture, he took pictures from his pocket to show them. So there's the seed, forms a root and a bud, and then it starts to grow. Or they can be grown the way we grow them at Long Hill Orchard. We graft a branch with buds onto a root stick. 
he showed them more pictures. Min and Pip looked at the shiny seeds. I'll be Johnny Appleseed, she said Minna. I read about him. He planted lots and lots of seeds across America. They grew into apple trees, apple orchards everywhere. Look, Minna, I'm Johnny Apple, Apple Pip. <laughs> When their bags were filled to the top, they rode back down the hill. Hold on, said Mom. Bump, bump. Whoa, Minna laughed. Hold on to your apples. Mr. Miller weighed the bags of fruit so that he would know how much to charge. Apple picking is fun, said Minna. So is apple eating, said Dad. And they were eating their apples. When they got home, they had an apple snack. The apples tasted sweet and juicy. Minna looked through the, her book. Here it is, she said. Here's the surprise recipe. I want us to try. Time to make Minna's surprise recipe, said Dad. Pip washed the apples. Minna and Mom used a special tool to peel them. Dad sliced and diced them. So they washed them, they peeled them, they sliced them. They are adding some maple syrup and apple cider and some cinnamon. And they put the apples, the maple syrup, the cider, and the cinnamon into a big blue pot. Then Mom put it on the top of the stove to simmer. It smelled delicious. When it was ready, Minna spoon spooned it into bowls. Whoa, who wants some, she asked. Me, me, said Pip. Me, said Mom. Me too, said Dad. They all said... Yum! Applesauce. And they made applesauce. Minna read more, more, more about apples. She learned how to make apple prints. Apple, so there she made apple printing. And Minna read about apples saying, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Pie order doesn't fall from the tree. For the tea, an app, the, an apple a day for the teacher. You are the apple of my eye and you are full of applesauce. Do you know any other apple sayings? The end. I hope you enjoyed that apple story and maybe someday you can go apple picking. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.